Good morning, uh, it's Ken here, back with a review of his collection. And what, what I'm doing this morning is um, a revised revised version. Of, so this P Pink Floyd vinyl, excuse me, Pink Floyd vinyl. Uh, I've added since the last video I done, which was way back when I first started on a phone. Uh, so I thought I'd upgrade it uh, and introduce you to the stuff I bought. I tried to put it put it in um, in, in sections. So bear with me because I've got quite a bit of vinyl. So we're going to kick off with something really simple. This is Pink Floyd. This is uh, called London 66-67. Uh, this has been in very various formats. This is the Intercellar Overdrive Nix Boogie Long versions uh, from a film called Tonight Let's Make Love All Night in London or something like that. Anyway, excuse me if I got that wrong. Uh, so that's a 12-inch single, uh, one track on each side. Lengthy tracks. Uh, Next up is, uh, excuse me, I'm reaching a bit here. Uh, there is um, Pink Floyd's uh, Delicate Sound of Thunder reissue on vinyl, as it says here. Heavyweight under Pink Final Bridge remix from the brand new mix. This is from the late years box set. Uh, as they're releasing parts of it separately. So that's quite a nice set. It's got a quite, quite sturdy book in there. Can I get that out? Put it down to much damage yeah. No, I can't. Oh no, no, it's a bit squeezed. Um, so, so that's a nice set. It's uh, it's a bit flimsy. The card's not that thick. It's been commented on various people, but it's a nice set. Uh, if you like that album, um, now I'm into original original albums. This is a, a compil uh, import compilation. Import the UK. This is uh, works. Um, this is quite a strange compilation. There's all sorts of weird things. Like the track list in there. Uh, you can see it's in the screen. There is, uh, I got this of a, uh, off a collector in a swap deal. Uh, it's not it's one I had on, I've got on CD, but I never had on vinyl. So that's Pink Floyd Works. It's got uh, one of these days, Arnold Lane, Fearless, Brain Damage Eclipse on side one, and set the controls to Heart of the Sun, CMD Play, several species of small furry, etc. etc. 3 4 and Embryo, which was the selling point, I think, for that album. The embryo was. At least there. This is an original music for pleasure version of uh, Relics. Uh, with a logo up there, FP. So it's a budget price with Nick um, Mason's drawing on the front there. Um, uh, I got another version of that coming up soon. Uh, this is more. This is an original more. Purchased at the time. One of the few survived the uh, uh, transit. Um, so it's got quite a moody cover. It's a soundtrack album, if you don't know. From Phil Moore, Babette Schroeder, I think it is. Yeah, so uh, Six Million Miles songs on there. That's one of my favorites. An album I do listen to. Another complete uh, import compilation coming up on the Art Harvest imprint, I think it is. Yeah, this is uh, Masters of Rock, Volume 1. I don't know whether there was any other volumes. Well, it, it probably was, wasn't it? But this is an original. Um, version. It's got the basic early singles, apples and oranges. It would be so nice. Emily Play, and Lane, etc., etc. There's the back with a nice write up there. So that's um, Masters of Rock Volume One. This is a uh, Pipe of the Gates Dawn. I think it's the second pressing. Um, uh, I love this. I love this album. Uh, Sid Sid Barrett and. Roger and Nick and Mason, no sign of David Gilmore at this point. So that's, and there's the back if you haven't seen it. Piper the Gate Sword, original. Um, this, this, this is a story behind this. This is the final cut. Uh, in my recent move, this, this appeared from somewhere underneath the bed. Uh, I thought I'd lost it, but it's turned up. I'll just open that up uh, for you. There's the inside. Still this wonderful home. Donna's Dream and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is um, this is by many is perceived as uh, almost a, uh, Roger Waters uh, solo album. It's a be in the right moods to listen to it sort of album, I think, in my opinion. Uh, I don't dislike it. Uh, some good guitar work from Dave Gilmore on there. There you go. So that's uh, quite an iconic sleeve as well. That's an original um, Album. This is an original album. Uh, some of mine are in the uh, gatefold sleeve cover, so I won't not won't get them out. And, uh, it's not about uh, an unboxing sort of thing, really. So there's the inside. Um, this is uh, Moment of Last Reason. This is an original. I remember when they bought this in Bath. 
And they cost about three pounds something. I did have the the sheet at some point, but I've seen the lost it. Goes inside there's the back of the, the famous beds and stuff. More of that to come later. Uh here's the original in the gate called thing. Um Amagama. As you know, first record is a live album. Second album is split up in uh, four sections of solo work of varying degrees. There's a uh, famous back cover picture there in the back. back the roadies and the people and vans and symbols and all sorts of things. Quite tidy, that is, I think. Um, and uh, and here is um, is uh, a weighty tome indeed. This is Pulse, the reissue of vinyl. With uh, quite a sturdy book, I will try and put this one out. It is, uh, it is, it is um, worth it having a look at, I think. But uh, to be honest, it's uh, from my memory, I'm going from my recent memory of this. It's uh, more big pictures than anything, although nice. They could have done with a bit more perhaps reading material in there. But it's, uh, it's pictures of the concerts and stuff. At the Earl's Court, I was fortunate enough to go the night after the, if you remember the night, the one night the seating collapsed. I think I went and I think it was the second night after that. So, so um, the people of uh, seating collapsed did get a free T-shirt, I think, and some memorabilia. But uh, I didn't because it didn't collapse on my night. Thank God. I don't think it's worth getting <laughs> falling down in the seat and get a T-shirt perhaps. Um, so we're on to. Uh, more collectibles, recent collectible stuff. Now this is uh, at the Anno Lane single. This is a record stay, store day release. This is still sealed and then open this and not don't play singles. Um, it, it is builders uh, Pink Floyd there at um, a Sid Barrett tribute concert in 2007. So that's uh, Anno Lane on the one side and Oh, I said the B's, it's etched, one of those famous etchings on the B-side, which where they couldn't be bothered to put another track on that I don't know. So there you go. So that's um, Arnold Lane. This is uh, another record store day. This is the yeah, Interstellar. As you can see, the sticker's still on it. It's slipped the side up the middle. So, But uh, still got uh, the sticker. It's a bit of damage, so I picked this up a little bit cheaper. This is uh, a 14... Um, 14 minute, nearly, nearly 15 minute version of Interstellar Overdrive. Uh, previously unreleased contains posted on postcard plus printed in a sleeve. Wow, mono. So that's it's quite nice, but uh, it's 12 inch single, of course, in some ways. This is um, this pipe that get it's on the mono, uh, the mono release for Rock Out State so Day. Excuse me, trip on my tongue here. This, uh, this is eminently being released in a, a, a single version, uh, as an album version, sorry. Uh, and it is, um, I won't be getting that because I've already got this, I think. So, I'm the wrong thing to press this. This is in a quite nice box. Yeah, we'll open it up and the album is on the inside. There, as you can see. So, I think the, the one that's coming up is just the only album cover. This is another, this is Source for Source of Full of Secrets, Source of Full of Secrets, uh, the original mono mix. I think this was a record store day, yeah, it's a day release. Um, so the pin is back there. So there you go. And this is, um, next up is uh, the, um, on blue vinyl, I believe. Yeah, blue vinyl. Uh, this is uh, Division Bell. I've, I've got another version of this coming up later. Uh, this is... Uh, Excuse me, neighbors shutting their doors. This is the division bell. So uh, it's still in a shrink wrap because of the hyper sticker there. So here we go. This is um, momentary lap for reason. Um, the recent release. Uh, remixed and updated from the late years box set. Uh, there's the different, slightly different picture with a hand gliding thing. Um, and there's the back. Um, that, I I don't know what it said, but it's new clothes. I I do like this the the, the mix on this. So, uh, but the differences are subtle. I think uh, Nick Mason plays more more bits on it and the bit writes uh, been brought to the front as well. This is this is the highlights from the later years. 
uh, double LP. I quite like this album. I play it a lot. I've got the CD as well. Um, so that's got uh, selections of that album are on this one as well. Uh, so there you are. That's the later years, 87 to 2019. And uh, finally, in this little section, uh, this is Live at Nebworth, 1990. This is... Uh, Four dip, two discs, four sides. That plays at 45 revs per minute, so he's up and down like yo yo. And they're not again, it's about quality apparently, but I hmm, so I have played it a couple of times, but it is uh, the size do go fast. One, one side, money's on side three there, uh, this sorry, side one of this two, uh, so there's only one track on there. Uh, but it's, it's, it's I do like the cover, I must admit. So that's that's uh, live at Nebworth, ninety nineteen. Uh, excuse me, my phone is getting a bit closer. The next step is um, these are all the Pink Floyd records releases that I got. When I revamped my collection, this is uh, Wish You Were Here, still in the black. Uh, black um, one of my favourite cut. That's my favourite. Uh, I got the mug and everything with our Roman T-shirts and stuff. I do like that. That iconic, um, iconic um, motif. Wish you were here. It's probably some days. It's, it's, yeah, it's probably my favorite album of Pink Floyd's. Although it, do, it does change on a daily basis. This is uh, at my mother. Let's open it up with a boy with a landscape of cows and stuff. So uh, and cows on the back. Um, so that's an uh, iconic sleeve of fairies winning at my mother. With that heart mother's. Uh, Sweet on it, they call it. This is the the other relics one I got. This is the Pink Floyd Records release. It's got the, the more uh, embossed, not embossed, but sort of textural theme. And again, it's uh, singles and stuff. Um, CD, the update was recent one point, had a modern image of that, which I did like. This is another foot in the door. This is, um, this is a compilation album. Uh, hey, you kicks this off. Uh, that look is an alternate version of one of the photographs. Quite like that photograph. Uh, so it's a double album, as you can see the track list in there. Nice, nice, nice sleeve as well. I think the all the album covers and stuff. And here we have another another compilation. Uh, <laughs> the pun uh, collection of great dance songs. Uh, another hypnosis uh, sleeve. There's the back there. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, this has got a few uh, I, th I think and I might be wrong. Money was re-recorded by uh, Dave, David Gilmore on his own, basically because of contractual rights and stuff like that. And there you go. Uh, this is um, sort of a secret. The re-release on Rolling Stone, uh, Rolling Stone Records. <laughs> It'll be interesting, wouldn't it? Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd Records. Yeah, we're out with the other Vision Bell. This is the original vinyl release that came out. Yeah, it's a little bit upside down over the top. It is an iconic sleeve as well. Uh, it is uh, Obscured by Clothes, which is another um, from the film La Valley. Uh, Bert Schroeder film again. The second one, first, first, second, maybe. Two way older they were. Yeah, second one, I think. So by Clouds, that's quite uh, quite a mellow album I play. I quite like this one. This is one of my first I'll put on if I'm in the mood. Uh, so that's got quite a um, psychedelic cover as well. Um, this is the, the re release of uh, uh, Final Cut on the list of, I keep saying Rolling Stone Records, Pink Floyd Records, excuse me. There's a cover I told you before. There's the back. So exactly the same reproduction. Here we are with the. Uh, the, the vinyl version of Delicts and Thunder with uh, the bubble, uh, the bubble, the ball, bulb man on the front. Not the bulb man, or the bubble man. Here's the inside of there. It's, uh, those interesting trees there. Bubble trees, I'm not sure. Uh, and we've got the tone that is uh, magnificent, the wall album. A very uh, plain sleeve, I guess. Of a, of a, uh, general scarves, pictures inside. 
double album, no lip, no uh, track listing on on the outside, which is uh, it's a major event when that came out. Here we go with medal. This is medal, and this is the one of those pictures of the four boys there, uh, looking a bit solemn. It has to be said. Uh, it's got the echoes on it, of course. Um, lots of debate about what it actually is and stuff on the cover at the time. Getting near the end now. Bit of a troll. This is uh, the classic Dark Side of the Moon. When I was in my teenage, lots of people wandering about this and there I am going to school and stuff. And there you are, the, the inside. Again, no track listing on the outside of the album. Uh, uh, this is this is their best, well, it's probably one of, if not the best rock album ever released. And it still sounds fantastic now when you play it. And finally, Animals, which I, uh, I it's not my favourite album, but it is a great album. Uh, great tracks. And there you go. It's open that up and the iconic sort of Battersea Power Station. And there you go. So that's my uh, revisit to the Pink Floyd vinyl section. I'll be along with another revisit uh, shortly. Uh, Look after yourselves, and uh, as always, leave any comments if you want to, bad or good, I don't mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little revisit. Bye for now.